All right, what is going on guys? So we're back with the HX-115. Not really a follow-up video, but um, more of just a video about the analog mod on the DJI goggles because there's been a lot of controversy about the AV input restarting while using analog. Um, and I haven't really had an issue with that, but um, like RC Shim posted a video of the Runcam Racer 3 a couple of days ago and he was saying he doesn't trust using analog on the DJI goggles. Um, uh, Gal Kramer posted a video saying that he didn't trust it, that the DJI goggles weren't really ready to be used with analog. Um, so I'm going to test it today and I'm just going to kind of stress the system. Because the, the working theory is that when you get so much breakup, it tries to write too much info to the SD card, which causes the input to reset. And then for SD cards, I don't have my SD card. So the recommended SD card for the DJI goggles is a SanDisk Extreme uh class i don't know what class this is but you want to make sure the card says v30 let's see if i can get that to focus so you want to make sure it says v30 and and this is a really old card i've had it forever um mainly for like my gopro but you know these are these are the cards that i always use for all of my dvr and I've never had any kind of freezing issues with digital or analog, um, but we're gonna try it today. So I'm gonna fly the HX, and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sit on my couch, so I'm gonna fly from inside the house, and I'm gonna fly that way past my neighbor's house, and then go up the walking path. So essentially, I'm gonna have this wall and my neighbor's house in between me and the the quad at 25 milliwatt and the breakup is just going to be awful um I, I try it every now and then and mess around with it and it's always horrible breakup but i guess even if the goggles do reboot i guess we'll see how bad it gets before that happens okay all right so let me start dvring Okay, you guys can see that I'm on race band one, 25 milliwatt. So we'll just kind of start. We'll kind of fly into the park and we'll do like a video check. This quad is using an XM plus receiver. So it's a full range, you know, receiver rated up for up to like a, what is it? A kilometer, 1.6 kilometers. But you can see, you're flying across the street in the park. The video is still pretty good. Okay. Even though I'm not facing the park, I'm facing the walking path, which is over here. And if it gets bad, I'll just shut it down and walk out there and get it. Huh. It's doing pretty good. Well then. Okay, I guess because I'm facing the walking path, it's it's doing pretty good. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll try facing the other direction. Ugh. Maybe like this. Now we're uh, facing the park. Backwards flying. See, now we're facing the park and we've got better video. 
Okay, let's uh, do the walking path again. Yeah, that's like way better than I expected. Hmm. And my TBS Fusion is on the latest firmware. I just updated that recently. It's like version 1.0 or something. Okay, well, um, I was figuring it'd be worse. Let's, uh, I'm going to move out to the garage and just put another, basically another wall and a vehicle in between me and the quad. Let's do that. Okay, so now we're in the garage. Um, immediately to my right, I've got my truck, and there's another wall. So at 25 milliwatt, it should be pretty bad flying up that walking path. And one more thing I wanted to add, guys, this new foam, I know it's out of stock, but this new memory foam, now that it's broken in, I've got no light leak anywhere. It's like, it, it's blocked out in my nose, and it's so nice. Anyway, okay, let's try this again. Okay, it's still not getting that bad. Oh, that's pretty bad. So now my screen's kind of rolling. Can't really see anything. Oh shit. Okay, so I lost the video, but now I'm in the grass. So I lost video, but it just went to snow. It didn't it didn't restart let me go get it all right guys so I'd say that was pretty definitive um, just went and got the quad uh, complete video loss to snow but the DVR just kept recording let's go inside pop the SD card out and see how big the file size is um, yeah Okay, so I've got my SD card. Again, it's just that SanDisk V30. Let's pop it in and see what the file size is. Oh no, I'm not watching my own two videos. Okay, so it's 20 megabits, 60 FPS. Obviously you can't see that, but um, so yeah, I don't know what kind of issues people are having with their DVRs to where they're writing files larger than 20. I wonder if it's because they're using PAL. PAL can jump up to like 70 megabits, but this is NTSC. I wonder if that's what it is, NTSC versus PAL cameras. Because PAL, like, I mean, even just my Fusion module struggles with PAL. But yeah, let's watch this back. So we're going up the path, and then the screen starts flipping. See, when it starts flipping like this, that's, that's like, for analog, that's horrible. And then I could see grass, and we just have complete static video loss. Um, so I don't know what it could be. It, it could be that people are using PAL cameras. Um, I have noticed that nobody with a Fusion module, as far as I can tell, has been complaining about it. So maybe it's something specific with the Rapid Fire module. 
um, and how it handles breakup or power consumption or something. But I'm just using a, a Fusion module with the mod I got from Rick Ellis and whatever Beck he supplies. And I've, I've never had an issue flying analog. And you know, like you guys have seen some of my testing on like the FR7, like I've pushed that thing to complete video loss. Um, and as you can see, it drops to snow just like fat shark goggles would. So, I mean, if you're not using a V30 SanDisk Extreme SD card, I mean, you were already wrong to begin with there. You know you should have one of those cards. Everyone, that's the only card that we should be running. I think there's a V60 card. I haven't tried one of those, um, but that's obviously going to be better. I mean, you know, I might try one of those. Um, but if it's not the SD card, it could be that you're using a PAL camera and not an NTSC camera. Or it could just be that your module for some reason causes the goggles to reboot when you get bad breakup. I don't know. I don't know, but with my setup, with my Fusion module and my V30 card, I will not restart when I lose analog reception. So yeah. Um, yeah, sorry I couldn't find an answer for that. I, I thought it might get bad enough, but apparently complete loss is not bad enough in my case. All right, guys, you, um, you let me know what you think. Some of you prominent testers out there like Gal Kramer and uh, RC Shim, if you have a fusion module, test that and uh, you know let us know if that makes a difference. All right, guys. Till next time, thanks for watching.